Hi, this is a short video on how I install Visual Studio Code for macOS Catalina using a virtual machine with Parallels. So first, download the application from the Visual Studio Code website. It downloads as an application rather than an installer. So once it's downloaded, we can move the file straight into the Applications folder. Now, by default, when we run the application, Catalina will deny permission to run it. And so we'll need to use the System Preferences Security and Privacy settings to grant permission to run the application. When we run Visual Studio Code under a Parallels virtual machine, it doesn't render correctly because the underlying Electron framework seems to have some problems with GPU acceleration. So what we need to do is to close Studio and we can create a shell script. And this shell script can run Visual Studio Code for us, but pass in a command line argument telling it to not use GPU acceleration. So we create a terminal session and use the nano text editor to make a, a new script. And we can see that we use the disabled GPU flags and we save the script straight into the applications folder. Because it's just initially a text file, it's nothing that we can actually run. And also, even when we do run it, terminal will leave a window behind. So we use this setting to tell terminal to close its window once the script is completed. And now we can also tell the operating system to treat this file as an executable. And we use this magic Chmod 700, which sets a bit on the script, uh, marking it as an executable. And we'll see the icon change from a blank uh, paper icon into an executable icon. Now, when we double click the, uh, the new script in the applications folder, it will immediately start the shell, close the shell, and bring us up with Studio Code without any rendering problems. And that's it. Thanks for watching.